Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a multiple choice question in your test generators so that the answers keep switching. Like, so maybe the correct answer is an A, and then the next time you generate it, it's B, and it, it can keep moving around. So I didn't make it pretty. You can go back and look at other videos for that. But here is my sample one question, and then my four answer options, question two, and those four answer options. And I didn't have the question change. I didn't generate like the numbers, um, so that's up to you. Now, what you can do, you can have things typed in there or you can insert images like I showed you in previous videos. So I do have this hidden, but I'm gonna start a new one just to show you from the beginning what it looks like. All right, so this would really be my, my hidden sheet. So the first thing I do is I scroll all the way to column Z and we're gonna do a random integer random between one and four um, because I'm going to have four answer options a B C D if you were to have more than four answer options you would go one through whatever okay so random integer one comma four and then I copy that all the way down to cell 1000 and the reason I do that is because I want to make sure that all four numbers are definitely generated, that nothing was skipped, but also I can use it throughout, I can use this column Z throughout my whole test generator. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Almost there. Okay, super. There we go. All right, so back to cell A1, and I'm gonna make this number one. And my question is gonna be whatever, whatever your question happens to be, mine's going to be, you know, what is one plus two, okay? And then we're gonna have one correct answer and three incorrect answers. So let me put those in. The correct answer is three, but four, five, and six would be wrong answers. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull over those four numbers here. I'm gonna use unique, and it's gonna grab them as it sees them in order. So if the first number it sees is a two, then it'll take that, and um, I won't have repeats. So I want unique, and that's column Z, one through Z 1000, that's kind of crazy, right? Of course, all four showed up and it just happens to be in descending order. If I regenerate it, you know, things change. Okay, so the way I'm gonna set this up is that whatever number's here is going to tell me what the correct answer is. So if that's a one, the correct answer is A. If it's a two, the correct answer is B. And I'm gonna put that down here. So equals ifs. If this equals a 1, then A. So then you have to put that in quotation marks, comma. If this equals a 2, comma, then B. Equals 3, then C is the correct answer, comma. The cell equals 4 then D is the correct answer, okay? And there we go. We can see, okay, the correct answer is B, and if I keep regenerating it, it keeps matching that first, that top number there. All right, so then what I want to show up, these are my answer options that I want in my actual test when I copy it over. So what would be A, what would be B, what would be C, and what would be D? Actually, let me shorten this a little bit so I don't have to go so far with my cursor every time I want to click on a cell. All right, so answer option A. Oh, we can even put this closer together. Okay, so this equals if this is a one, then I want this answer. Otherwise, if the one is here, then I want that one. Or if the one is here, oh, man, I'm not doing it. Right, sorry. 
Let's start that over. Ifs this, then I actually have to type equals one, comma, then I want this, comma, or if this cell equals one, comma, this one, okay? So we're just trying to find out where is that one in this list? There we go. So wherever one is, it will look over and it will make that the answer. So one is next to the four. Okay. We're going to do the same thing with two. Ifs. This equals two, then I want this one. Otherwise, if this equals two, then I want this one. Otherwise, if this one equals two, I want this one. Or if this one equals two, then I want that. Okay? And we're just going to copy that again for three and four. Three being option C and four being option D. Ifs. Oops, too many S's. This equals three, and this. Otherwise, if this equals three, then that. Or if this equals three, then this. Or if that equals three. So go find that three, put it here. All right, equals ifs, it's four. If that equals four, then I want this one. Or if this equals four, that one, or if that equals four, then I want this one. Okay, so there we go. Um, the problem would look like, you know, this shows up, and then here are the four answer options. Again, I can condense this so these look closer together. So one plus two equals three. The correct answer is D, and you can see that there, and it will keep changing. Now, the nice thing about this is once you have that part set up, you've got yourself a nice little template to grab here. So I'm just gonna take and highlight this. I don't even need all of that. We could just grab this here. I'm gonna copy it. Command C, I'm come down here. Command V to paste it. And now you can see, we'll call this number two. Where am I going here? Number two. And let me just I need a visual separation. Um, uh, separation. <laughs> All right, so there's number two. And if you look, um, where it grabbed the numbers from, unique, it started at Z14, which is awesome. I don't want it to start at the same place this one did because it would have the exact same thing. Um, meaning that like all my correct answers would be A or all of them would be B. And this just divvies it up. Um, so now you can see this one here is B. You can give yourself a whole new problem. Let's say it's, you know, 10 plus 2. The correct answer is 12. 13, 14, and 15 are wrong. And you can see how that keeps changing. And then these two answers are, are independent of each other. Okay, and you can copy again and then, you know, type in a new question and a new answer. And of course, taking those numbers and putting them into the quiz page that we talked about um, in earlier lessons. All right, guys, I really hope this is useful. Enjoy.